Describe myself as so, bumblebee. <laughs> um, no, I am. Um, I model and I write and I play music. I dress depending on my mood every day. I mean, somebody describe it as a rock chic. Um, I think it's quite nice, even sexy on a woman when she's wearing a men's suit or a pair of trousers with an oversized coat. Um, but what inspires me is. Uh, Mostly characters, like people in my life, uh, that are a little bit different, and and, and also musicians and you know, writers. Now I got a place back in the city, in the East Village, and I'm, I'm quite happy. Night is going, and no one knows where the light is going. Lost and lost. I think there's a very good vibe in New York right now. It's you can feel it. It's kind of booming in. The, Especially in the arts world, it's, my greatest fear would be myself. I, I would most admire. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be cliche to say, but my parents. Probably. My my greatest achievement, maybe the fact that I hadn't give up when everybody thought, you know, and the fact that I'm very perseverant, got got a lot of will. How many times did I have sex this weekend? Five. Are my parents can watch this. I do. I do have a couple of models. I mean, I do have a lot of. Mostly just to be honest, and um, you know, because at the end of the line, no matter how much money you make, what do you do? How famous you are, how famous you're not, uh, what job you do. I think it's just to be kind to your your fellow human beings. You know. Helps you look at yourself in the mirror, and at the end, that for me is priceless. <laughs> 